Gerald 200. All right. Fall semester 2018. Boom. Welcome. This is going to be an awesome class for you. I'm welcoming you as along with my co-instructor here, the other Dr. Walsh, uh, Dr. Julia Walsh, who is a Juris Doctor. I have a PhD in uh, biology, physiology, and how the body works, and Julia is a, a, an attorney. Um, her, I've been at USC for many years, ran a Parkinson's lab for many years. Give you some background on Julia. She's a 1993 graduate of USC Law School. As you can see right up there, Order the Coif, um, top 2%. She worked for Pillsbury Madison, Sutro, Lilk, and Pro downtown LA um, for about eight years. And then she was managing counsel for, for the Automobile Club of Southern California, um, doing a, a lot of different things, including run, running uh, human resources uh, for about another eight years. And then uh, it's about a 10,000 employee company. And she stepped away from that for a little while because of health problems but step back into being an instructor and helps me with this class and also teaches law courses at USC. Um, these three guys are amazing TAs, have been working with me for a long time, and they all help in terms of doing the grading, assessing your learning, okay? And that's what we have to do. So the point of this class, again, of this uh, uh, quick video, is oh, what do I have to do to perform well and get an A in JARA 200, okay? You, First of all, you have to learn, okay? You, you, this class is going to blow your mind. It is one of the most applied courses you'll ever take in your life. It's going to set you up so that you are ahead of the curve and understanding um, the consequence of having so many old people around. Yes, I'm, you've, I'm sure you've been hearing about it, but you're going to have a real gut understanding about this now. And uh, it'll help you be a, a much better advocate for everybody in your family, an advocate for yourself as you get older. And also uh, to look into the, the real opportunities that are out there. I know a lot of you guys are business majors. And one thing I can tell you for sure, when you look at the demographics of young people versus old people, um, uh, if you're wondering who has all the money, it's the old guys. Okay, uh, We accumulate wealth over time, and so we are uh, an, an amazing market to target in terms of your business ideas. And, and we're willing to spend all of our money. You just got to figure out how... Uh, to convince us to do so, okay? So so, um, so we're, we're, there's a big, big section of this class that is devoted to certain uh, economics and business aspects of aging. Uh, I think it's really crucial that all of you understand that. Uh, uh, we have uh, entire sections on investing, personal investing, so that you guys will not have to rely on a money manager or investment counselor, uh, anything like that. You'll be your own person. You can do it all on your own um, and, and do it in a way that uh, it really minimi minimizes your risk and, and reduces the, um, the amount of fees that you have to pay uh, to, to do the investing. And I, we invest. Uh, Julie and I have invested for many years, and it's really, really paid off. Okay, so um, that's the background. What do you got to do to get an A in this class, okay? Each week we have two things that you have to deal with, okay? We have uh, um, a, a, a reading assignment with quiz, and we have a discussion board that is linked to it associated with that. Down the line, we have um, three major assignments. Major, this is like a two-pager. This is another two-pager. This one's a big one. It's a 10-page thing, but it's really cool. You're going to love this because you get to interview your dad or your grandma or your grandpa, your mom, whoever it is that's older and how they're, you know, uh, about their life experiences going through the process and apply your knowledge that you now have to it. It's really cool. We have this one midterm. It is online. Uh, I know you guys have very varied schedules. We've set this midterm up for uh, November 29th, 29th, 7 to 9 p.m. You go on the Blackboard and you take it, okay? Um, we prefer that you all of you do it at this time. I do know that uh, we do know that sometimes there are scheduling conflicts. You have to let Julia know, and Julia is the point person that you email, okay? Uh, to let to uh, let them know let her know if you're having any issues or problems and we will return uh, a response within 24 hours promise okay alrighty so um, let's kind of look at our percent effort and what's going on and you do that by looking at the syllabus okay so we're gonna click on this okay and the syllabus is a word doc that um, really lays out in detail everything that you can expect okay um, okay. Awesome. Goodbye. Okay. And it's coming up. 
boom. All righty, there we are. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so um, so this right here is the course description. I get my head over here. Okay, um, and um, what you can hear actually. Let me just do this. Okay. And then we're going to zoom it up. All right. There. Much better. Awesome. Okay. So, um, okay. So the course description describes what it is all about. Okay. Um, here's the objectives. Okay. Uh, and we hopefully achieve these objectives. And if not, you can let us know. Okay. I'm not going to read through all these. This is an online course. All right, so everything needs to be uh, done through Blackboard. If you have any issues, um, con uh, we instruct you on who to contact right there, okay? Um, uh, we have a number of assignments that are, are done through Turnitin. Okay, do not plagiarize. We uh, do not take that lightly. Um, okay, and this, that describes how to do Turnitin. Um, there's no book, okay? That's what this is talking about. I'm going to go through that later on. Each week has a PDF file, reading assignments, as well as links. Okay, um, these are the dates that are repeated again in Blackboard, okay, in terms of what's going on. Uh, again, late work is not taken lightly. You need to be on your game, okay? All righty. It talks about the quizzes. It talks about the discussions, okay? Um, each, qu each discussion lasts a week, so be clear on that. Once it closes, you're done. You cannot get points for that, okay? Um, Discussions are 20% of your grade, okay, um, in total as a weekly discussion, okay. Um, we grade it on a 1.5 scale, or 5 point scale. You'll see that when you look at your grades, okay. Um, and uh, you need to, uh, as indicated up here in bold, uh, you make one thoughtful response, okay, so that's it, one to two paragraphs, and then at least three additional substantive responses to your classmates to get credit. So it's um, it's one, okay, and it's three, okay, one and three. Yeah, if you don't do it, then you'll get points taken off, okay. Yeah, just the one, you get 0.75 points, okay. Um, one plus one, okay, that's one uh, uh, point. Uh, one plus two, that's 1.25, and one plus three, okay, that is 1.5. All right, so that's how the rubric goes. All righty. Um, this talks about the interview paper. Again, pay attention to bed deadlines. Here's the grading breakdown. This discussions in total are 20% of your grade. Reading quizzes that you do each week, 20% of your grade. Uh, critical thinking assignments, these are two um, papers that are two to three pages long, 20% of your grade. Uh, the 10 page paper at the end, that does not include the references that you cite, 20% of your grade. And then we have uh, what we call a midterm exam that is towards the end, another 20% of your grade. That's multiple choice. Okay. All right, so that is the breakdown. This right here, as you scroll down, uh, this is the traditional grading scale that works great for our class. And, and I, I, we, we get about, I'd say, 65% A's in this class. So it, it's easily done, OK? Um, this goes through all the, the support that is out there at USC. I'm not going to go through that. This is a weekly um, uh, framework of the topic what you should be doing in terms of reading and homework, and the deliverables. Discussion one, you see quiz one, boom, boom, boom. Discussion two, quiz two. You see critical thinking assignment is two. So again, it's all laid out for you guys. Awesome, okay. So please download the syllabus and put it in your back pocket. Awesome, okay. So I'm gonna go back over here um, to, um, let me get out of that, all right. Back over here to this, okay. So we are at the syllabus, and we're going to go back to the home page, okay. We communicate to with you guys, as you can tell, via email, and every email that we send is also posted as an announcement, so it's always there and saved. So you can backtrack through this. You can see the emails that Julia has already sent to you guys already, okay. All righty, quickly here, okay. We're going to look at this. These are the two weekly assignments, course readings, okay. Um, again, open education resources, so you click right here for the first week, you see August 20th, um, 
it says right here forward through trend five forward through trend five you click on the PDF file and there it is okay and you go and you read forward through trend five okay and you can keep this open simultaneous and while you read it and take your quiz you click right here okay all right you hit continue okay and you take the quiz okay so there are five questions multiple choice for each quiz each week save each answer save save as you do it and then once you're happy with what you're doing you hit save and submit you get one chance okay all right just to let you know we have a pool of about 30 questions five are drawn from that pool they're random so no two of you are going to get the same quiz uh, um, uh, so you can count on that all right all right so i'm going to get out of that okay yes okay we're going to go back over here um so that will come up every single week a new topic okay all righty discussion is the same deal all right here's our prompt so you read the prompt and then what you do is um, you respond to it, okay? All righty. Um, and as you can see right here, we already have 44 responses. So what you do is, which is awesome, you guys are getting in there and doing it. So you click right here, you read the prompt, you click right here, okay? And you make something go, okay? So I did this right here, okay? Um, and I can open it, okay? And what I did is I clicked on it and I said, hey, this class is awesome. I can now reply to this. And you said, and you, you got to be more substantive than that, but I don't have time. Uh, I'll say, yes, it is. Okay. Boom. All righty. So now we have both. I hit go back and okay. All right. How did I create this thread right here? I created a thread right here. Okay. All right. And so I came down here and I called it John Walsh test. Okay. So we'll come back over here and I typed away John Walsh test all right and that's what everybody else has done right here okay so I can look at uh, for example Olivia I'm gonna click on here and see what Olivia's doing all right all right so here's Olivia human biology mining monitoring and dance that is awesome okay um, she wants to learn about aging effects different aspects of medicine again that is awesome okay and uh, Julia already responded to her and I can do the same if I wanted to okay I can come right down here and say I'm gonna respond okay and I'll say hey Olivia okay we will study I can't type med is med <laughs> then with respect to cancer diabetes and Alzheimer's uh, you have you in us boom alrighty so I have I have now posted and I'm down here okay is that awesome okay that's the way it works okay alrighty okay um, and you can also uh, reply to somebody else's. Okay, so I could talk, I could reply to Ka to Caitlin right here by hitting click. Okay, and there it is. All right, that's how that works. All right, so you can do these discussions. You're going to do this. All right, here is the critical thinking assignments. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to leave the other page. Yes, I do want to do it. Uh, and here it is, all laid out the assignment. Okay, tells you when it's due. Okay, two and a half pages, three pages. This gives you the instructions of what you're supposed to do. Okay, very clear. All right, here's our learning objective. Awesome. Okay, and this kind of shows you a sample of what we're looking for. You then submit it through turnitin.com. Okay, and that's what that is right there. All right, so if we click on this, it takes you to turn it in. Okay, it's not due yet, so it's not gonna, it's not showing it. Okay, but it will be. All righty. Um, next. Okay. All right, same thing with critical thinking assignment two. Okay, so we scroll down. There's CT2. Okay, and then the same thing here for the final interview paper. Okay, and very, very clear instructions on what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, the paper that's the rubric that we use. And if you want to look at the rubric for, um, for understanding how, um, how, uh, we grade each of the critical thing assignments. We can go in here. We go into my grades. Okay, so I went into tools, my grades. Okay, 
I can view the river book for critical thinking assignment too. And there it is. Okay, it's really straightforward what, how we're going to grade. Okay, um, and based on these, boom, boom, you're going to get your points. Okay, alrighty. Don't forget this late submission, 10%, and if turn it in violation, we come down hard. Okay, so don't do it. Alrighty. So that is that. Okay. So that was critical assignment one. Here's critical thinking assignment two. Same deal. Okay. Different topics. Okay. Um, and then you come over here to the paper. Again, here's the rubric that we're using in terms of uh, what it is you've done. Okay. All right. So, so everything is kind of laid out very straightforward. You just have to keep up with this class. But the cool thing about it is you can do it anytime you want, whenever you want. Okay. Um, again, we get 65% A's in this class. The people that, that blow it don't do well. You know, you just got to stay up with it. You're going to do great though, guys. Right here. Okay, that's the midterm. I'm going to click on it right now. You see there's going to be nothing there. That's because we open it Thursday, November 29th from 7 to 9 p.m. Okay. Um, it's about 60 multiple choice questions randomly selected from our pools. So no two exams are the same. And um, um, we really, really encourage you guys to fit this in at this time. It just is, it's just a lot better for everybody. I know some of you may be traveling that day at that time. If that's the case, then you need to email Julia because she is the point person in this class, okay, uh, right here. In fact, if you have any problems, any issues, you email Julia. She'll respond to you within 24 hours. I promise, okay? All righty. Um, we have... All kinds of tutorials down here, not only on how to get an A, okay, but if you're newly adding JRO 200, um, how to use Turnitin, how to avoid plagiarism, okay, how to post in discussion boards, all right, it's all laid out here, okay, so you can click on this right here, and it shows you right here exactly what it is you need to do, okay, um, all righty. Um, I do want to put, put uh, uh, this up here. We're constantly looking for uh, feedback, okay? And that's right there. So you can you can take this uh, survey as many times as you want. You click on it, and you go in, and boom, and you can tell us anything you want about this class, okay? Because we're here to improve, all right? So that was um, down here, and that's JR200 student feedback. You still will get your end of the semester um, request to take the student evaluations from the university. Um, I am in my office, okay, at this time. You're welcome to come by anytime. Julia is uh, around this time as well on Fridays on 11.30, 1.30. Please come by anytime to talk about anything, any issues you have with the class, okay? All right, so I've talked too long. Uh, welcome to the class, and I'll see you next time.